Hi, thanks for joining us in continuing our video series showcasing our 2023 version of Vertex BD Wood. In this video, we're going to carry on from looking at our wall framing tools, and now we'll be working on modeling some of the walls within our project by tracing a reference drawing. Within Vertex BD, you can model your projects freehand within the modeling window, or you can utilize reference drawings, which you can create from projects within Vertex or import via IFC, for example. With these reference drawings, you can then trace them to then create your model, and we will showcase modeling by utilizing a reference drawing in this example. Firstly, let's add the reference drawing into our project on each of the required floors we are modeling. We do this as per our previous video on reference drawings for all our required ground and first floor modeling pairs necessary, and as shown, by here on the drafting tab under reference drawings. We load each of these into our modeling pairs by placing the reference drawing at the origin point for each modeling pair. And once completed, we can move on to beginning our build and modeling our ground floor wall structure. With reference drawings added for the ground floor, we can now begin modeling our main structural walls for our project. Let's go to the modeling tab and select walls where we can select our required structural wall. Within here, we have a vast variety of walls to choose from, as you can see within the wall libraries and wall type section. Here, we have the ability to select between exterior and interior wall libraries, both which contain framed, non-framed and sketch wall options, foundation walls and other walls such as divider wall libraries as well. To add, we can also save our own custom created wall structures to these libraries and even create our own wall libraries here as well, but we will cover that in a future video. For now, we will navigate to the exterior wall library and select the frame wall option where we will go to choose our exterior wall 89mm brick siding. Once we have that selected, we hit the OK button and then Vertex is ready for us to place our wall structure in the modeling window. As you can see, when we hover over line intersections, corners, etc. on our reference drawing, Vertex recognizes them as snapping points, at which we can begin placing our wall structure. I will start at this corner here, near the origin point of the reference drawing. I right click to place the wall, and now I can begin tracing the project's ground floor exterior load bearing walls. When we are modeling our walls, we can utilize the right click contextual menu to benefit from a variety of great functions to aid you in tracing your reference drawings and in general when creating a project. Within here, there are a variety of options. For example, you can constrain your wall to the X and Y axis, parallel and perpendicular. You can also snap independently, should you wish, to with a variety of options for snapping points, such as set local, where you can choose in the modeling window where your snapping point is, and others such as line, intersection points, middle, and more. Not only that, but we also have other options such as placement options, where as you can see, when we change between them, they alter the placement of the wall between the inside, middle, and outside. And you can make use of functions here for wall height, copying from existing walls, mirroring, and much more. Because of the use of our reference drawing, we will simply be setting the placement to wall outside and then following the corner snapping points, left clicking at each corner snapping point to place the wall all the way around our reference drawing until we join back to the beginning point where we started. We can click OK to confirm and then our exterior load bearing wall will be input into our ground floor structure for our project. With that completed, we can then go on to adding our interior walls in the same way as we have done with our exterior load bearing walls. However, this time we select the interior wall library and choose the interior load bearing wall 95mm insulated wall. With our interior wall selected, we are shown trace and model our ground floor interior walls for our project. And as we previously explained, we right click and utilize the right click contextual menu functions to align and constrain our walls correctly when tracing the reference drawing for the project. As you can see, where our interior walls meet, they require joining. 
To complete this, we utilize the joint section of the connection part of the modeling tab. Within here, we have many joint sections to choose from. From standard wall joints, such as corner and T connection, to plane structure joints, profiles, and more. These are all available to select between should your project require. In our case and project, we're going to use a straightforward T connection to join these two interior walls. We simply select the T connection option. Vertex then requires us to choose the wall we are looking to connect to, so we select this. And then Vertex requires us to select the wall we are wanting to connect to that wall we've just selected. Vertex then connects the two utilizing the T connection join option that we previously chose. With our interior wall joins completed, we then move on to implement the remaining interior walls for our ground floor model. And with those all connected to our exterior load bearing walls, the main ground floor wall layout is ready for us to move on to the next step. Now we are at the point with our ground floor for a project whereby we can begin to trace and model our openings such as windows and doors, which we'll be covering in the next video in this series. For a more in-depth information and look on tracing and modeling walls, check out the help section of the Vertex BD software by the user manual available here or by clicking F1. Alternatively, we also have a handy knowledge bank on our main website with much more information on Vertex BD, which you can access via the description of this video below. Thanks for watching.